channel my name is Sui Ven Teres in fact let me pronounce it properly Sui Ven okay I'm a talk girl and that's how you pronounce it so today I'm going to be showing you how I prepare my uh, puff puff easy breezy steps to follow it took me a while to make up this recipe again because I told you I don't have recipes for stuff I just do my things and they come out perfectly well I've been doing this since I was born okay so you're just gonna have to bear with me we will have to make the recipes together um, so if you're joining me for the first time I create content on food I take you to my kitchen I show you how I cook my delicacies and how I prepare my delicious snacks and also I take you to some beautiful places in Canada and eh, not so beautiful places in Canada so if you like this type of content please subscribe to my channel share the video like comment and let's take this right together all right so here um, first thing is the um, lukewarm water in the bowl and the yeast that I added into that bowl and I cannot stress this enough right like lukewarm water has to be lukewarm water now somebody would ask me like okay how lukewarm is lukewarm right so how you know is the water has to feel like the water you can use to uh, give a baby a bath that's how lukewarm water is supposed to be now um, as you can see so just mixing up the um, yeast and the sugar and the salt so please keep watching and follow the steps it's pretty easy to follow and let's see how it turns out keep watching so as i was mixing i noticed that it was gonna turn into lumps so i had to stop and add more flour and again like i told you i just look at the things and i just figure them out so you'll see uh, exactly how many cups of flour got in there okay Okay, so after adding the uh, lukewarm water, you have to mix and mix and mix. And there's no way on earth I will mix this puff puff with the spoon and just let it go. I have to use my hands. There's no way on earth you will mix puff puff without your hands. That's a rule of thumb. You have to mix it with your hands so you can feel the uh, lumps in the puff puff uh, mixture and make sure they're all like you know dissolved in the water you're adding and again when when you're adding your water it has to be lukewarm water and how do you know your mixture is perfectly fine now you, when you use your hands and you mix it up you have to raise the mixture up in your hands if you have a dropping consistency meaning if it just drops from your hands to the bowl it means your mixture is very hard but if you raise it up and it runs through your hands you know in a stretchy manner that means that your mixture is perfectly fine and again I cannot stress this enough you have to taste it all right even pop off mixture at the taste fish roll mixture at the taste and the reason for that is 
you want to make sure the sugar and the salt blend together so i noticed that it was too sweet for my liking so i had to go ahead and add in a bit of flour and a bit of lukewarm water again the salt and the sugar really depends on each individual i may think it's too sweet but you may think yeah you need not just that much sweetness right so it really depends on each individual so you mix it again like i put the water the lukewarm water a little bit of flour and mix it again with my hands and feel the lumps in there just to make sure they're all dissolved okay so let's keep watching So after your mixture is properly mixed and you feel everything is fine, then you have to cover with foil paper and keep it there for one hour to rise. Now the reason I use foil paper and not the uh, regular plastic paper is because I find that foil paper traps in heat so it makes it rise. And there's one important thing about the pot, guys. Please do not put your mixture on fire or put your mixture in the oven. Let it rise naturally. The reason for that is it kills the power of your yeast. If you go the artificial way by maybe putting it in, you know, in the oven, hot oven, or maybe putting it in beside the fire or anything that will just kill the power of the yeast. You have to be patient. Let it rise in natural heat all right so there i have my pot uh, of oil already ready and i'm just cutting in and putting in into the uh into the pot and it's deep frying as you all know all right let's keep watching After um, adding some in the pot, it is important that you cover your bowl of the mixture uh, just so it maintains that heat, right? Um, again, the reason I'm stressing on not putting it, you know, uh, next to the fire to uh, make it rise or to put it in the oven to make it rise is just because it kills the yeast. And once it kills the yeast, your popov will come out really, really chewy, you know? Your popov go tanga. Plenty of times in there, I don't chop up off with tanga. It's because of some of these uh, things, right? Don't try to hurry up the uh, process. Be patient and let it rise on its own. Yes, look at that pop off right there. Oh my god. I have been frying pop off since I was like 10 years old. Anybody that knows me will testify to what I'm saying. It's no joke. <laughs> Play no there. This is the real deal right here. Keep watching. To make sure that your puff puff is properly cooked, please make sure you're frying on medium heat. And the reason for that is if your oil is too hot, your puff puff will become brown or even burnt without really being cooked in the inside. All right. 
so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you follow the steps it's pretty easy to follow all right try it and let's see how it goes thanks guys bye